What's good fam? Welcome back to the channel and Happy New Year! Looking forward to an amazing year ahead. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a fast track way of how to beat match. Also, I'm going to teach you the easiest transition technique that every DJ should know. And as an added bonus, I'm going to teach you an exercise to help you beat match by ear. What was that? So before we move on with this awesome video, I'd like to ask a huge favor from you guys. If you guys are new here and you haven't seen me before, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as that like button. And for you guys that have been watching all my videos, I thank you guys yeah, yeah. so much for helping me out. And uh, please hit that like button as well because it helps out with my algorithms so more people can see this video. Let's do this. Okay guys, so I'm using my Newmark Mixtrack Pro 2 for this demo tutorial. And um, yeah, all controllers are, are universal. They're gonna have the same basic functions. So whatever you have, use it, whether it be an SB3, Denon, a Newmark controller, Hercules, it doesn't really matter, right? They're all gonna have the same functions. You're gonna have pitch faders, um, right and left platters, volume control, cross faders and play stop functions, right? Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to beat match using your eyes. So this is a visual representation of how to do it. Um, I don't condone this. Um, I know a lot of DJs are gonna give me flack for, for teaching you guys this, but my train of thought is, I find a lot of uh, new DJs are having a really tough time learning how to beat match by ear. And um, usually after two, three, four weeks, uh, or longer, uh, they give up. They have a hard time learning how to beat match by ear. So they're like, I can't do this, it's too hard. I'm just showing new DJs how to do it just to give them a kickstart, a step in the right direction. Oh, yes, I don't Daddy. condone this though, but you still really have to learn how to beat match by ear. Yeah, Especially yeah. if you're gonna take it professionally, right? It helps you in other facets of DJing. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step, doing a play by play. And um, pretty much uh, we have house tracks on both decks. I chose house just because I learned how to beat match using house. It's a continuous beat and it doesn't fluctuate too much. Uh, it's a continuous boom, boom, boom. So it's it, it's pretty easy to, to, to learn how to beat match by ear. I've already cued the beginning and near the end where we're gonna do that mix point. So um, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna play the left deck and then we're gonna mix the right. Here we go. Okay. And just to speed it up, I'm just gonna fast forward this track all the, close to the end where we're gonna mix. Okay. Okay, right now I'm gonna match the BPM from the right to the left as close as I can. Then I'm gonna drop on the one right now. Here we go. I was a little late, so I'm gonna nudge it a little bit. I'm gonna raise the volume on the right side as well. Okay, nudge it a little bit and then now that we're halfway through the mix I'm gonna go down on the volume of the left deck now keep nudging just to make sure everything's aligned volume going down and as we finish out perfect okay so that's pretty much a visual representation of how to beat match using your eyes. Okay, so this time we're gonna do the same thing except I'm gonna be beat matching by ear, okay? So um, I'm not gonna be using my eyes at all, no visuals, I'm actually gonna black out the waveforms and the BPM so I can't cheat and can't see anything. The only time I'm gonna be looking at the screen is when I'm gonna be fast forwarding the song closer to the end where we're gonna do the mix point, okay? So, um, yeah, here we go. We're going to do, I'm going to play the left side and then I'm going to mix the right side over. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to fast forward it close to the mixing point. 
Okay, so I'm gonna turn up the volume on the right side so when I drop it, you can hear everything I'm doing. I'm gonna drop it on the one. Four, three, two, one. At this point, I should be full volume on the right deck. And now I'm going down with the volume on the left deck. And by the time the end is, we're totally out. Perfect. So that's pretty much how to do it uh, by ear. Let's check how I did. Oh, okay. So I was off by point one. All so it was right. 122.7 and I mixed it at 122.6. Not bad. Not bad. That's pretty much where you want to be. You want to be as close as possible, point one, right on the dot or, or in that vicinity. Um, you're going to be nudging here and there, um, depending if, if your track is too fast or too slow, you're going to be nudging it forward or backward and that just takes practice. Okay? You can um, do it! Yeah, so that's pretty much how to do it uh, by ear. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to give you a little exercise to practice to how to beat match by ear, okay? So this is a little exercise that I put together. Um, I have the same house tracks that we were playing earlier. Uh, right now I'm going to loop the beginnings, four bars. I'm going to do four bar loops on both tracks and then um, I'm going to be playing one track and trying to beat match the other track by ear, okay? So I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to look at the screen. I'm going to be blacking out again the waveforms and the BPM so I can't cheat, okay? So try this at home when you guys are practicing how to beat match. See how fast you can get it, how fast you can get it on beat and see how close you are. Okay, so I'm going to play the right side and then I'm going to match the left side to the right side as fast as I can, just using my ears. So I'm going to be dropping on the one and I'm going to try to catch it. There. So, one, two, three, here we go, four. That's pretty good. I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna check. Oh, okay. And again, I'm off by point one. Another one. Uh, we were playing at 124.6 and um, uh, I ended up at 124.7. So not bad. You guys wanna stay around that realm. Of course, you're, you're gonna be nudging forward and back depending on if your uh, song is too fast, or too slow and then just adjusting, right, as you go along. Um, try this at home, and um, happy practicing. Good luck, guys. Okay, so I hope you guys liked that video. Um, keep in mind that when I recorded that whole segment, I wanted to make sure that you guys heard every little detail that I was doing, all the mistakes that I was doing as well. In a live scenario, I would totally have headphones on to mask all those mistakes and make everything sound clean to the audience, all right? I'm sure you guys heard those galloping horses that I was doing. It's all a part of DJing and um, I'm sure you guys are gonna have a lot of galloping horses on your journey to learn how to beat match by ear. Right? It's all a part of it. Um, stick with it though. Don't give up. Um, it's not going to be something that you're going to learn overnight or even a week or maybe a month. Right? Huh? It's going to take a while. It's very rewarding once you do get it. Use that visual representation that I showed you to help you. But don't depend on it because you still need to beat match by ear. Think about it this way. Hmm. You don't listen with your eyes. Hmm. You listen with your ears. So it only makes sense, right? I've run across DJs that uh, depend on beat matching 
by their eyes so much that um, they don't listen anymore to what's coming out. They're just listening with their eyes. Right? They're so caught up in beat matching and keeping the beats all together that they're not listening and they don't know that it's sounding off. Just because it's on with your eyes doesn't mean it sounds right. So make sure you know how to beat match with your ears. There's a lot of benefits to beat matching with your ears. The first one is you can DJ with acapellas and instrumentals. Know when to drop the acapella on top of an instrumental. Um, you get to know song structure, uh, especially if you're if you're gonna go into producing, which is another part of DJing, right? You get to make music properly. You get to know what goes where, song structure. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. Another thing is you get to know how to mix different genres of music, right? Putting rock with rap, with house, and mixing all different types of genres on top of each other. And you can't do that if you're visually dependent on beat matching. So please learn how to beat match with your ears, especially if you're gonna do this as a profession, if you wanna take yeah! this to the next level. So if you got value from this video, if you learned something new, please make sure to smash that like button down below. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe, okay? We'll see you in the next video, guys. Happy New Year. This is DJ9 signing off.